Hey everybody, welcome to another video here at Pragmatic Works. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at something cool, sim kind of should be simple, and that's gonna be sorting by year and month. Now, if you've sorted a column in Power BI before, you know it's a simple process, but of course, like everything else, there are times where this can be a little bit tricky and a little bit more difficult, and that's what we're gonna to cover today. But before we go any further, my name is Mitchell Pearson. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that whenever we drop a new video, you get notified right away. And my son told me, so it must be true, that if you subscribe, you can have good luck. I think there's a time frame associated with this, but I don't know. That's what all the famous YouTubers do. Now, here we go. We're gonna jump right in and we're gonna take a look at sorting our data, right? So you've probably had to do this before where you were displaying the month name and it was out of order. It was alphabetical instead of chronological. So you, of course, selected the column name over here, right? You clicked on month, and my head's probably blocking that. You clicked on month, and then you went up to column tools, sort by column, and you said, I wanna sort it by month number of year. And that worked. That worked flawlessly, that worked awesomely. So let's take a look at something a little bit more complex than that. The demo that we're gonna be looking at today is a couple of different scenarios where month and year is combined together. And so I come across this all the time when we're doing training or hackathons or virtual mentoring sessions where we see data that's somewhat like this and customers want to combine columns together, put them on a chart, and then they don't quite display the way that they want them. So let's look at the first one, right? The very first one that we have is a month year combination. Now I can get this one correct by simply, you'll notice that it's showing all of the Januaries here, right? Because it's sorting by month year, then it's showing all of the Februaries and then all of the Marches. What we probably want is 01, 2005, 01, 02, 2005, 03, 2005. This one is actually really easy to solve. Because of the way that it's formatted, I can actually sort this one by the calendar year and it's gonna fix that problem pretty easily, right? So we can come over here and say, look, that's month year. So I'll grab that month year column right there and then we'll come back up to sort by column. And I'll tell it that I wanna sort it by calendar year. And you'll notice as soon as I sort it by calendar year, it is working flawlessly. This is perfect. The one that we have over here though, we got some text in there. This one's gonna be quite a bit trickier. So let's talk about some of those different issues that we have. First of all, I just showed you a moment ago. Our month number, our month name, we've already sorted it by the month number. So we know that if we were to bring the month in here, if I were to, let's say, duplicate this table and bring in the month, that it's going to sort chronologically, not alphabetically. We've already fixed that. So ideally, what I wanna see in the month year two is January 2005, February 2005, March 2005. You get the drill. So let's try a couple of different things, right? First, let's try to sort this month year two column Let's try to sort that also by the year. So I'll come over here and find month year two, select that column by clicking on the name, get that nice gray border in the background. Then we'll come up to sort by column. And I'm gonna tell it that I wanna sort by calendar year, just like we did before. And unfortunately, it is not quite working. It's definitely sorting all the months of 2005, but it's sorting it alphabetically. Uh, April, August, December, February, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But we want it to be chronologically. We want it to be one, two, three, January, February, March, in the same order that we have over here. But so we see that doesn't work, right? I sorted by calendar year, it doesn't work. Well, well, Mitchell, what if we sorted by month number to solve that whole alphabet problem? It's a good, good question. So I'm gonna do that again. I'll grab month year, come up to the top. This time I'm gonna tell I wanna sort it by month number of year. And once again, it sorts it, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for, right? It's January of 2005, January of 2006, January of 2007. What I want is January of 2005, February of 2005, March of 2005. So we still have this problem. And the problem really comes down to the fact that when you sort by column, you can only sort by a single column. So I'm trying to sort this by a single column and I'm choosing year, I'm choosing month, I'm choosing different options, but we need the month and the year. We need the month and the year. And so there's a couple different ways we can do this. We could do it in DAX or we can do it in Power BI. First, I'm gonna do this in DAX, okay? So we'll do it in DAX first. 
But as you know, from watching any of our videos or taking any of our training, we always recommend doing it in the Power Query Editor, right, to get the best possible compression. So I'll show you in DAX, and then if you wanna hold on and wait just a little bit longer, I'll show you how to do it in the Power Query Editor. So in order to do this in DAX, and there's gonna be many different expressions we can write, but I'm gonna go over to the data view over here on the left. I'm gonna make sure I'm on my date table. And then on my date table, I have my month year two here. What I want to create is I wanna create a combination of my month and my year, all right? So that could be 2005, 01, 2005, 02, 2005, 03, or it could be the inverse of that, 01, 2005, right? So it could go really either way. What I'm gonna do is right click on the date table and create a new calculated column. So I'll right click and do new column, and then we'll call this month year sort, right? So month year sort equals, and then all I need to do is extract the year and the month from my date, right? So I'm gonna do a format function here. And then from my date column on my date table, I am going to return the year, 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 month, month. And then I'll close that up like that and hit enter and we'll give it just a moment. So when I scroll back over to the right, we now have this month year sort that we can use. and so. If you look at the numbers, 2501, 2502, it should now sort it in the correct order. Perfect. Now, all we do at this point is go back, and you could do it here as well, but I'm gonna go back to the report view. Here's my month year two. Go ahead and highlight that, and then I'm gonna tell it that I wanna sort by the month year sort, the one that we just created. And when I sort by the month year sort, it gives me exactly what I want. This is awesome. So not super difficult, but if you don't, if you've never done this and you're looking for it right now, this is how you would do it. Now keep in mind, there is a better way to do this. The better way is to do this in the Power Query Editor. So stick with me for just a moment. We're gonna jump over to the Power Query Editor by going to Home. And then I'm gonna click Transform Data to launch the Power Query Editor. And I'll pull that over from the other screen. So on my date table, and I just have a bunch of standard tables from different videos or whatever, but on my date table, I also wanna add that same kind of month year sort here. We'll call it month year sort two. And let me show you how to do this. The way that I would do this is really take advantage of the built-in ELM query functionality, right? So instead of trying to write ELM or instead of trying to figure this out myself, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna select the date column, go to add columns, and then I'm gonna do column from examples, but I'm gonna click the drop down, and I'm gonna say column from selection. From selection means I already selected the date column. So as I'm typing in text and you're trying to figure out what I'm doing, try to figure out and derive the actual code from that column. So if you don't know what column from examples is, you definitely wanna take a look at this because it's pretty awesome. So column from examples from selection, right? And then I'm gonna come all the way over here to the right, and what I wanna do in this first column is kinda of type out what I want the results to be. And so the first row is what? We're going, starting from January 1st, going down in order. So the first row, I'm gonna type in 2005, and then I'm gonna type in 01. And then I'm gonna do it again on the next one. 2005 being the year, 01 being the month. And it's gonna repeat it all the way down. Now, clearly, if you look at this, most of the time it won't pick it up for February. So if I go to February here, You'll notice that for February, it's still recognizing. Let me make sure I got the right one. Nope, gotta go down one more. It's still recognizing, it's hard coding that zero 01. So we're gonna fix the zero 01 to zero 02 and hit enter again. Now it's saying zero 01, zero 02. Let me see, I, was, I wasn't blocking it really. All right, and then zero 03, zero, so this is working, this is perfect. So what we just did is we had to give multiple samples to make that add from column example work. That happens sometimes. We're gonna go in and click OK. By the way, you can also look at the code, the ELM query code right here, and it's doing a date.toText, year, 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 year. It's adding a zero, and then it's doing a date.toText percent ELM. Mm, uh, wait a minute. I might have to modify that code. We'll click OK, and then let's see what the results are. Ooh, yeah, that's not what we want. So. Unfortunately, it is always adding a zero and we don't want that. That is not what I expected. I would have had to have gone down to like a 10 to fix that. So this is unexpected, but we're gonna fix it anyway. So what I'm gonna do 
is this is actually combining these three different string values together. I'm gonna get rid of this right here in the middle, that zero that it's adding, I don't want that. And I am going to come over here and we're gonna replace that percent with the two digit month. All right, and I think, so if I can type that in correctly, I think that's gonna give us what we want. So let me hit enter again right there. So I'm, I'm essentially modifying the code a little bit. I'm apologizing because I did not mean to get into this to this degree. But you'll see now it's sorting it correctly and we don't get 2005010. We're getting 2005101. So this is perfect. This is what we want. Now we do need to give this a name. So we'll do that very quickly here. Month, year, two. All right, month, year, two. That way we know it is the right one. We'll hit enter. And now remember the reason that we do this. Oh, I created it. Oh, that's the one I created for the other one. Month, year, sort to. I'm sorry. Month, year, sort to. There we go. All right. Live demos always never going to be perfect. Now I'm going to come back over here. Click home, close and apply. The reason we do this in the Power Query Editor though is because when you do it in the Power Query Editor or you do it further upstream, it happens before the compression algorithms get run. So it gives you the best possibility for the best possible compression. So that is a key element that you never want to forget when you're working in Power BI. Now, we're sorting this currently, right? If I go down here and hover over the month year two, we are currently sorting this by our month year sort. We're going to change that. We're going to change that over to the month year sort two. And you'll notice when we change it over, we still get the exact same result. The only benefit now is that we get potentially better compression in our data model. And that's it. A little quick tip, ran into a couple little problems there. I had to modify some code to make this thing work the way we wanted it. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, we'll see you in the next one.